Another beautiful morning. It's actually noon. I slept in today. <laughs> we're going to get some breakfast at this bread place. It's called Bread and Co. And then we're gonna go check out the volcano. You can smell it from here. Alright, I found my rental car that I parked last night, kind of far away from everything. Um, and I got that cinnamon roll and a little coffee from Reykjavik Roasters. Here it is. Beautiful. Um, we can look at the cinnamon roll too. Um, but I also forgot to finish the little video from yesterday. Um, so I did that thermal river hike and it was amazing. It was so cool. Um, I feel like it's going to be hard to top that. Um, but yeah, and then after that I had dinner at Dill, which is the only Michelin star restaurant in all of Iceland. Um, so that was definitely like a splurge moment, um, but it was delicious. I think if you can afford it and want to experience something like that, it's really cool experience. Um, yeah, and then I just went to bed. Um, and yeah, that thermal river hike was definitely my favorite part of yesterday. Um, and yeah, now today I am about to drive over to the volcano and see if we can't go check out the lava fields. Um, it's not erupting at the current moment, but um, I think it'll still be cool to just see the lava fields and stuff. Um, and then after that, I want to get a hot dog at the famous hot dog stand here. Um, and yeah, we'll see what else I get up to today. Maybe just exploring the city a little bit. Um, but I've pretty much done most of the stuff I wanted to here, um, in Reykjavik anyways. And tomorrow I've got the Golden Circle to look forward to. Um, but yeah, we'll see where today takes us first. Let's open up this cinnamon roll too from Browd & Co, which means Bread & Co in Icelandic. And they are absolutely famous for their cinnamon rolls. So let's get her out of there. Oh, she got a little squished on my walk, but wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> I got so excited that I took my first bite already, but this is delicious. We should definitely stop and get one. It's seriously probably the best cinnamon roll I have ever had. Wow, it's like super moist. Everyone's favorite word. Mm, delicious. Perfect way to start my 12 p.m. afternoon. <laughs> okay, I'm doing the volcano hike now. <laughs> you can't tell it's really windy and cold. But that's all right. That's what we signed up for. And I am very prepared. <laughs> I'm just hiking to a lava field that you can actually already see from here. See the really dark lava right there? That's what we're headed towards. Pretty sweet. <laughs>
green here. And it's me walking back to the car. I said hi to the lava and the volcano. And now I think I'm gonna go to the little town we're right by. It's called Grindavik, I think. And gonna get some food there, I think. And hopefully a beer and chillin'. Think about the beautiful volcano. <laughs> guest house for a minute. Um, you can hear everybody walking around upstairs. <laughs> um, but yeah, I made it back to the guest house after checking out the volcano. That was really cool. Um, and then I also stopped for a bite to eat in uh, Grindavik, I think it's pronounced, um, which is the little like harbor fishing town um, right by the volcano. So I stopped at this little cafe um, and got some vegetable soup and a beer, a gull beer, which is one of the Icelandic beers. My first time trying that and that was really good. Um, and yeah, then just drove home and have been sitting here relaxing for a few minutes, but now I think I want to go back out into the city, maybe wander around a little bit. Um, I've decided I want to get an Icelandic wool blanket as a souvenir, um, just like this one that I'm sitting on um, that they have here. Um, they're so nice and soft and cozy and they're a little bit expensive, but I think that would be an awesome thing to have at home um, to remind me of my trip. So there's a store I'm going to go check out, I think, and try and get one of those. And then one of the other last things on my list to do in Reykjavik before I start driving down the south um, is to get a hot dog at the famous hot dog stand. So I think we'll do that as our last little meal of today too before just relaxing for the rest of the night because um, I have the golden circle tomorrow. So that'll be a little bit more driving and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm cool with having an early night tonight. Um, but first, let's go get that blanket, hopefully, and a hot dog. <laughs> so cute. I got the hot dog. Here's the little stand. It's very cute. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> There's crunchy stuff at the bottom. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> I think these birds are cute. They're like little <laughs> Icelandic pigeons. They look different than our pigeons, but they act the same. He says, got any hot dog left? I don't. I ate that in like two seconds. It was definitely the best hot dog I've ever had. Two pigeon thing. Here's the famous stand. 10 out of 10 experience. <laughs> Found a bookstore, my favorite kind of place. It's big. We're taking a brief detour here to look at the books. 